Do you ever find yourself emailing files to yourself just to get them from your phone to your computer? Or maybe you've missed an important phone notification while you were focused on working on your computer. Well, what if I told you there's a powerful, free, and open source tool that can solve all of that and more? Stick around. Today, we're doing a deep dive into KDE Connect, a cross-platform project that connects your smartphone to your desktop or laptop. Whether you're on Linux, Windows, or Mac OS, it allows you to send files, sync notifications, control media, and even use your phone as a remote input device. But first, I have to keep the lights on. So, check out today's sponsor. Are you using an unregistered version of Windows 11? Then you need to check out keysfan.com. Keysfan offers a wide range of products including Windows 11, Windows 10, and even older versions like Windows 7. Need all the software? They got you covered with keys for Office 2019 and Office 2021. And here's the best part. You can save big with exclusive coupon codes by using my code RKT50 to get 50% off all Windows series. That means you can get Windows 11 Pro for less than $20. But wait, there's more. For Microsoft Office, use my code RKT62 to get a massive 62% off. Buying is super easy. Just add your chosen product key to your cart, apply the coupon code, and pay securely via PayPal or credit card. You'll receive your genuine activation key in no time. Once you have your product key, go back to the activation page, click on change product key, enter the product key you just purchased, and click activate. Be sure to check out keysfan.com. So, what exactly is KDE Connect? At its core, it's a project made of two parts, a desktop program and a phone app. It allows you to do some very useful things like receive phone notifications on your desktop and even reply to messages directly. Use your phone as a remote control for your desktop, perfect for presentations. Control music or video playing on your computer from your phone. Share files and links effortlessly between your devices. Ring your phone to find it when it's lost under the couch cushions. And even browse your phone's files right from your desktop. Now, normally, I use a program called LocalSend to send files and documents between all of my devices and platforms on my local Wi-Fi network. It's a great program, but it lacks a couple of options that KDE Connect has. For example, the additional option for Bluetooth connectivity so that you're not completely reliant on your local network. Another feature that LocalSend doesn't have is the ability to see notifications and to answer text messages from your phone on your desktop. Yes, Microsoft has a native program built in called PhoneLink that performs similar tasks, but of course, it's Microsoft dependent and doesn't work with other platforms. In fact, I used PhoneLink to help create this video so I can show you my phone screen while setting up KDE Connect. So let's go get it installed first on your phone, you can find the KDE Connect app on the Google Play Store or F-Droid for Android and on Apple's App Store for iOS. Now for your PC, the KDE Connect website has a dedicated download page with installation links for Windows. Just head there to download and install the app like you would any other Windows program. While KDE Connect is developed by people who also made the Plasma desktop for Linux, you absolutely do not need Linux to use it. It works great on Windows. With the app running on your Windows PC and your phone, make sure both devices are connected to the same Wi-Fi network. On the app, you should now see the name of your PC on your phone and your phone's name on the PC. If they can't see each other, the most common issue is a firewall. Once you see the device, just click to request pairing. A notification will pop up on the other device asking you to accept. Click accept and you're all set. You can also connect via Bluetooth. First, pair your computer and phone using the standard Bluetooth settings in Windows. Then, in the KDE Connect app settings on your phone, Turn on the Enable Bluetooth option. Your PC should then appear as a device you can pair with. 
let's check out some of the best features. The Receive Notifications plugin is amazing. All your phone notifications appear on your Windows desktop and you can even reply to messages from the pop-up. The Clipboard plugin lets you copy text on your PC and paste it on your phone or vice versa. It's a huge time saver. Note that on newer Android versions, you might have to use a Send Clipboard button because of privacy restrictions. The Share and Receive plugin lets you send files, URLs, or text between devices. Just right-click a file in Windows and find the Send to Phone option. Files sent from your phone go to your Downloads folder by default. The Remote File System Browser plugin allows you to browse your phone's files using the SFTP protocol. This means you can access your phone's storage directly from your desktop. KDE Connect turns your phone into a powerful remote for your PC. Virtual Input gives you a touchpad on your phone's screen to control your mouse pointer. You can also bring up a keyboard to type on your PC. The multimedia control feature lets you play, pause, and control the volume of media playing on your PC, which is perfect for movies or music. With the presentation remote, effortlessly advance through your presentation slides using your phone. KDE has a Find My Phone feature. If you've misplaced your phone, KDE Connect can help you locate it by triggering a loud alarm, even if it's on silent. And there you have it. KDE Connect for Windows is a powerful and flexible tool for integrating your phone with your PC. And best of all, it's completely free. It's definitely got some decent features and I like the fact that it's cross-platform. I don't think it's going to replace local send for me as far as transferring files between devices locally. I just like the interface of local send a bit better. And as far as the user interface that it gives you for the phone, I do like Microsoft's phone links interface better, but again, that's limited to Microsoft. So I think I'll definitely be utilizing this the most on my Linux system. Will you check it out? Drop me a comment below. Also, drop me a comment of any other program suggestions you have. Do me a favor and like and share the video and subscribe to the channel. That helps me grow the channel so I can keep bringing you these videos on a weekly basis. Be sure to check out these other video suggestions. And as always, thank you for watching. And until next time.